Welcome everyone to the final week of the regular season. We're gonna do highlights games this week. We're gonna start with the gem divisions. It's gonna be only three gem divisions because the Topaz one doesn't have any matches being played. So we're gonna only do this, these three. And casting these matches is gonna be uh, Mazzini. Hello Mazzini. Hello. And it's going to be Wrestler. Wrestler joining again. Indeed, yet again. Thank you, Nebula. Uh, before we start with the games or the matches in uh, Sapphire, we first need to conclude Topaz. Which is, uh, sadly, two people uh, forfeited it, like in the middle of the season, so only two remain. Which means it's going to be one hopping bunny versus uh, Blood Red Jelly. Which, I, I, I believe they already played two times before, and I think Bunny won both of them. So she's gonna go in favorite, as a favorite, probably. Indeed, that's very most likely the scenario. I like how you pronounce Yeti Jetty. That's... <laughs> Yeti Jetty. I don't know. <laughs> I sometimes have difficulty to... <laughs> yeah. Speaking is hard sometimes, I'll, I'll agree. So, yeah, any thoughts of uh, this division? I, uh, I think uh, the scoreline of 6 0 0 for Hopping Bunny is going to be clear. I think she's going to run over this one, Sally. That's... Yeah, I think, like, originally the Bunny was going to be in uh, Sapphire, and I had her finishing pretty high in that. So I, th I think I don't. I'm not surprised that she's taking care of business in this one. And I think Yeti has uh, shown a lot of improvement, but. Bunny favorite for sure. Yeah, that's gonna happen in the coming weeks, the uh, championship match of this division. But that is for later. We're gonna first go to. Uh, Sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah, yeah. There are many divisions, and Sapphire is one of them. We're gonna start with the leaderboards first. What, what do you think of the current situation? I'm also gonna put the matchups in front of the screen. Uh, so, basically, if I if I see this correctly, Callum, uh, Hornet has pretty much already secured their spot, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Callum, a, I think, needs only a tie to secure his. So currently, if uh, Callum a gets a tie again, at least a tie versus Lavinuk, that's gonna be the matchup for the. That's gonna be the um, matchup, the final matchup, which I think not many people had it coming. I thought that uh, myself that Calum is gonna be near in the bottom of the division, but proving people wrong, it seems. What do you think, Martini? Any anything coming in mind when you see this uh, these standings? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this was like maybe the most unpredictable division because i think a lot of people are you know pretty close in skill i think most people had hornet finishing pretty high so that's not surprising but i know um calame roxo really everyone in this division um could have been in the top two and it would have been surprising yeah. maybe i would say maybe yash but yeah that's because yash likes to put himself at last place in every single tournament he's in <laughs> apart from that no Still gonna be important who is getting first seats, second seat, and also maybe, uh, yeah, who, who's gonna miss it. Maybe Catnip can still steal it. I'm not sure if there's uh, any tiebreakers that will be in her favor if she wins the game uh, match. I've, I think that Catnip has lost both to Hornet and to Calame. So okay. I'm not sure, but if that's so, um... if that's true, then yes. She cannot win anymore. Oh, damn. Uh, let's go here. Let's look really fast. Catnip. One against Echo. Plus against uh, Hornet. Bye. One against Lavinuk. And then she lost against uh, Calamir. So, yeah. The top two is already certain. By this. But there's still there's uh, there's still eliminations or demotions to play, so there's definitely some stakes still. 
That it's also, like yes, and also the top two, the first seeds, gets like an extra single, and they can choose, like for the championship match, they get an, they get an extra single, they can choose the uh, roll order, and they can also choose the uh, pick order. So, still a lot of to fight for, for almost everyone, so... Yeah, let's just go straight to the pick and bounce of the first match. Which is gonna uh, yeah, ju it's just gonna be, be just be really short because we have had yeah, a lot of matches. Yeah, Catnip versus Yash. So um, Catnip bang Tien and restricted the veranda. Yash restricted aquarium and Redwoods. Very standard. And I think they're both handshaking since they are picking the venues they're both comfortable in, which is doubling terrace and balcony and singling pub and courtyard. So, but both all of these venues are really favorable for both of them. So, but it's gotta be a close game. my analysis of that okay let's just go straight to the game we're only gonna do highlights so it's gonna be three games per match and starting this match catnip is already 2-1 up and yosh is gonna respond with smallman on terrace oh no it's catnip on terrace yes, yes. catnip on terrace okay well, all right so uh, well, let's take over then martini so Small man being played by Cadnip on Terrace with our 2 1 up starting in 3, 2, 1, playing it. So Cadnip up 2 1, but nonetheless pressing the small man button. And it looks like we're going to join our ST for our first mission progress. Uh, here's the. Um, Terrace is a. Um, I mean, for me at least, it's not the venue I particularly enjoy playing, really, since I, I guess my, my prop, I guess my is just a bigger balcony, you can say, because the first two missions are pretty much clear, people flirt in contact, and most of the third, and it's usually very hard to get away with, almost all of them. Yeah, the only real, like, hard tell that you need to, to visually look for is bug, and then it comes down to purloin tracking. Um, it is it is a very behavioral venue in some ways. Indeed, and the oh, we going to immediately for white. This is gonna knock out three low. It is gonna get three low lights off, and there's only what three reels thus far. Yeah, Yash not highlighting the reels for now. Yeah, keeping maybe keeping the highlights for something else. I think it was statues, but uh, I'm not sure you want. To, uh, it's an early BB, which is nice, but I'm not sure you want to let off three people immediately. And I would like to see another BB like right now, because we already have it. The convos are completely full. I would be suspicious that the spy is in the conversation that doesn't have the double agent there. Yeah, that's the yeah, yeah that's um, that's behavioral tell us okay uh, there's a everyone's in a conversation why there's not a second contact and uh, just thinking okay maybe that's um, in 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 any regard we finish up the flirts but that's the problem we that's the third mission and Bash is leaving a drink at the uh, sorry a print at the bar maybe we're gonna try to focus on that but. Okay, we are. I thought we we're going to statues, but indeed we are heading there. Yeah, we could get a double print here. I think that briefcase is gonna get snatched before we are able to grab them both. Oh, never mind. Maybe we can. Yeah. If we go for this briefcase immediately, yeah. It's gonna be two prints. And should be in mission count on any time now. It is. 10 seconds. Can Yash shoot for this indeed? Shot. Uh, yeah, just the uh, um, yeah, just double print and double fresh print at that. Pretty easy to track. And Yash thinking, okay, it's one of the three reels. Surely this must be the spy, right? And even if it's not a spy, you kind of have to shoot for that as well, regardless, even if it's an AI. Yeah, and something I want to note here is that Catnip did the fingerprints kind of slowly. Um. Like, she could have printed as soon as she got the drink and then gone to the briefcase, and I think that might have made it a, a lot closer because we ended up, like, doing the drink print after we leave the bar and then the briefcase print, like, right as we're next to the ambassador. So, 
Maybe, maybe a little more mechanical efficiency could have improved our chances there. Yeah, there's uh, like five seconds left. Maybe with that efficiency, we could have gone away with it. But unfortunately for Katna, that's not the case. And Yash ties it with two to two. Uh, so it's a wa I guess when I say a wash on the terrace, which was uh, Yasha's double. Moves the Murman to balcony next. I have, I'm fairly sure it's one of your favorites as well. And in this match, Yasha's up four to two already. And playing Spy as Sorry, starting in three, two, one, playing it. Another very, uh, you could, well, you, I can say, uh, mind game -y venue but i'm think you also like uh, some pathing in here as well but i think that's mainly uh only a couple of players really look for that and we just saw a big balcony and now we're on small terrace no bars no statues <laughs> i think you got that reverse but sure it works why way. can't that we do get a little light uh sure. yeah i'm not sure why though yeah, I'm but not sure. Go ahead. I mean, we were we were AI controlled for a while, and I'm not sure if we did any AI talks, but maybe because we weren't talking at all for the first thirty seconds, could be. The low light on pearls makes sense since uh, she was taking a drink and lost couldn't big be, but uh, if we, I don't think we did anything to deserve that, uh, to rather earn that low light, but the uh, catnip thinks otherwise, and we are one of the low lights. Oh, it is a purloin game. There's a white purloin, but we don't. We shoot immediately afterwards. I don't think we even saw that. I think we were just laser focused on to salmon here, and thinking that that could be a further finish here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure why we got low lit, but obviously the spy probably wasn't expecting it either. So he's probably just as surprised that uh, someone else got shot for, you know, immediately following the white purloin. Um, I think Salmon Salmon did not do a white PB. Oh, he he did have a white PB. So that's what the highlight was for, and probably didn't like that. Uh, oh, I we think left what happened and here. I think what happened here is we're being flirt pair with General, and as soon as General joins us for like the second time, we chase him to the windows first of all, and second time uh, when General comes up to us, we immediately talk. So I think Catnip. Uh, Flare paired us with uh, Flare paired Salmon with General, and I think that's what got them shots. Yeah, I think I think that's a good call. In any case, Yash is up five to two already, as we're moving on to the last of the highlight games, and his luck on balcony continues. He's up six to two, and looking to finish the set early here. I'll spy as Alice, starting in three, two, one. Playing it. I guess. I guess another of the. I noticed a trend. You could say um, frameable venues, but I don't think it's on the same level as terrace and. Uh, oh, seduction. A terrace and balcony as our seduction target leaves. Sadly. It's harder to get away with the frame on pub, especially on terrace. Yeah, I think the uh, you know the bar venues are always more conducive to frames because you can specify who who takes the list as opposed to like a tray venue. Um, but this this kind of start is you know kind of kind of forcing us more into that frame game because when you when you're a minute nearly a minute into pub and you don't have any flirt, uh, your options start to get a little limited. And the end of red. Go for a fake banana bread. It is a really good time to do a fake banana bread since a lot of the conversations are filled. The problem is uh, in, we're kind of reliant on a sniper to, um, as we had a green test alert, we're kind of reliant on a sniper to make a shot. Uh, I guess a sip shot, rather, which kind of has shown to be, on the, to be able to do that on the balcony. But pub is a little bit different. Maybe not going to be the case as we leave immediately. So maybe we we're thinking to or fish. Yeah. Could be. I think this uh, statue has a print on it. And there's a print at the bar. Fire called. Never mind. Just oh, a wow. shot. 
for we did have a real contact from from the sniper's perspective and yeah. maybe that entry near redress there around midnight 30 just makes think okay that's a very that we're basically <laughs> want to say putting our face right behind here there that's usually a very i guess you would say spy i think to do ais don't tend to end up in conversation circles like that and thus and when we go to statues as well just like thinking okay this could be a finish for Alice. She's acting suspicious. Let's just shoot him. Can't have a on that. Yeah, there were like maybe five guests that had real contact, and you know, no one else, no one else was really finishing. So it's a reasonable shot from Catnip. Yeah, but unfortunately, she does not win the set. Well, obviously not, but it doesn't even tie. The it's seven to three. Yash was victorious in that set. I if I recall that correctly. So, Yash, a very valuable two points. I think that when he is almost surely can avoid the demotion, I think he's going to be staying in the division. Regardless of the other results, I think. Yeah. He can be at least the fourth place. Solid result for both in this division. Indeed, uh, as... I think we're impressed with time. We're going to move on. I guess we're going to move on to the next set immediately. It's going to be Roxo versus A. Kuviti. Moving quickly through the deck, Roxo bans Redwoods while A. Kuviti bans Pub. Roxo and A. Kuviti restrict modern libraries. Not a fan of the bigger venues. While Roxo doubles Courtyard and A. Kuviti doubles Ballroom. High rise and library to finish things off. So very much different venues compared to the last set. Yeah, and Ico restricting library and then picking it for himself, so maybe some fine games going on there. Yeah, I think it's uh, thinking, okay, I only need one library again, so you don't need double it. As anyways, I think our first game is going to be on courtyard. And with Roxo being two zero up against Ecoviti, Ecoviti playing a spy Irish on the spy side, starting in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, it, it, Courtyard is, again, uh, it has the basically that syndrome of what's the fourth mission, since uh, every, almost every single spy is going to do inspect, contact, and seduce, and what's the fourth mission? And that fourth mission is usually so hard. Yeah, um, you know, there is some like cheese opportunity here because because of the way the the camera is set up, um, it's it's kind of an occlusion venue. You can't you you can never see what's exactly uh, directly behind the statue. You got some you know swap and bug opportunities in that way. As we take a pretty uh, pretty good contact, some pretty full conversations. Yeah, and both of the conversations having uh, an SDA and it definitely helps. So we're stepping into statues early. So, um, it's a mix. So sometimes it's good. So basically thinking that a spy wouldn't go to statues this early. But at the same time, it'll, it makes hard usually harder to get that fourth mission off past the sniper. No swap plays just yet. I don't think you can really do it. Maybe if we had flirt finish, you could do it. And just dare sniper to say that okay, I'm gonna be finishing around minute forty. But alas, it's not the case. As we had a white floor for sixty-three percent. Yeah, so we don't have any print at the moment. So if we're gonna start that, we probably want to get one soon. But otherwise, it comes down to either purloin bug or swap. I'm, we're eyeing up Toby. I think we're just waiting for a chain and then requesting, hoping we hit a green pearl line into a flirt. I think that's the play. I think we're... No? Okay. Yeah. I thought... It's... That was a nice reject there, but we decide to go to the window. Could be thinking about a timeout here. Maybe we're eyeing up the laser. Maybe we're trying to go for a bug, but uh, we are... You can almost always keep Ambassador in vision and thus bugs are usually very hard to find. Oh, that's unfortunate. We really needed that green test. And we try to bug and we do fail it, but I don't think the sniper has caught it, so no harm, no foul. Yeah. 
40 seconds left and it's maybe uh, just like bug is still be our perline uh, it's not gonna be changed and toby i don't think can even offer us here maybe he yeah can. maybe not um i was gonna say if amba put his briefcase down and leaves we could go for like a double print but uh yeah i don't think we're offerable here so let's see oh small man gets safety off on We don't have Wait. the floor done, but can we do a crash bug? We need a time add. We do a purloin. It is a green. We oh, we yeah, add. we need to add. It's a white okay, we add. got it off. Ooh. Well, the, the the nice thing about the white time add is that we won't have any beeps when we uh, finish our flirt here. So do we get shot for the talking? Uh, also, that wheels was also the one that windows, but uh, sadly, he doesn't pick up the statue. Which he's being safety rod as well. And this uh, this portal train is still going on. It hasn't come down to us yet. Here's the flash flirt. Are we gonna take our own purloin? I actually don't know if this is good or not. Cause the clock is gonna hang now. It's been so long in this chain. Now it can only be us if Roxo was paying attention to the that chain. I think we're thinking between wheels. It's uh, okay. So Mission to Downtown comes. What's the reaction? Okay, we are getting shot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we're, we're super split between wheels and Irish. They're thinking, okay, what's the last mission? And uh, finally deciding that it's actually just Perloin and uh, shoots us correctly, but. That was a bit tight. That was a bit hair from this, from the Cypress perspective, at least, of the last time there. Yeah, I think I think we were being stared at pretty heavily, but um, Roxo wasn't expecting the purloin there, so he had to he had to kind of rotate and check to see if the list was actually gone, and that that was uh, enough information there. Yeah, good nurse from Roxo, <laughs> even though it was quite stressful at the end there. And he goes up to the set three to zero. So we're moving on to the next highlight game, which is going to be on ballroom. While Ecovidi is calling back, Roxo is only up four to three, so definitely closing the gap. As Roxo is going to be playing on the spy side as Irish, so maybe a repeat of that on ballroom. Let's start it in three, two, one, playing it. And are we gonna go in Oh, we don't do an immediate pearl line. Nope. Maybe a missed opportunity. Yeah, I thought we might, you know, just rip a book out or something, but decide not to do that either. We're just gonna take it slow. Seduction targets, uh, maybe we would chase at windows, could have been uh, flirtable there, but uh, we decide not to chase this. We are. Death stare for this bug, but we are probably not gonna do. Oh, we're gonna do an exit no, bug, we... and oh, that's a good bug, but we do get a highlight for it. Yeah, I think the Amber leaving gave us even better cover, but uh, certainly creditable by Echo. Yeah, we step into is... conversation to start our flirts. It is a green flirt at that, so. It was a it was good timing from Rock. So, but basically, when Ambassador is leaving, and luckily that he left per, uh, parallel to us, so that big body of Tad was basically covering the bug as well. But uh, Echo VD seems to be on top of it, giving it at least the credit. And I imagine if we tried to do like a soft tail, like a statue, that we're probably gonna get shot if we have a real contact. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we finish here. Maybe try to go inspects into Prince and do a silent game. Because then imagine if we do a silent game, I don't think we're being shot here. Because if we manage to do four missions without uh, contact, this. Of course, we don't hit a green. It's an 85% flirt. Yeah. And, you know, if we're going for Prince inspects, uh, the Amba is leaving Prince at two different statues uh, over on the left. Yeah, but those are both clean uh, prints as well. No one has uh, smudged them yet. That could be an avenue towards searching as 
Echo, maybe. Oh, sorry, Rox. So no, we are heading to the different set. We are going to center respects uh, here, so it's probably gonna be a flirt and contact finish. But with that credit on bug, I imagine it could be the witch shoots for that, but it's always uh, hard to tell as we are finishing in space here. <laughs> Minute left. Oh, that, it's a bit of an awkward entry. Quite literally <laughs> stood right before Smallman and seduction target leaves, unfortunately, so we can't even do that. We do a green purloin, so we are deciding to do a silent game as well. And the end of red. Oh, we do a fake B. <laughs> we do a BB. <laughs> and, but Rock Hakovidi <laughs> shoots her that immediately. I imagine we didn't want to do a seduce there, but uh, didn't want to do contact grabber. Sorry, but uh, yeah, that bug cur credit on the bug was enough. And it could be the all over that possible finish. Yeah, that was. I'm. I think you're right. That that was supposed to be a flirt. So unfortunate the uh, action priorities there. Um, we might have survived with a flirt. We'll never know. But good tracking on the bug by Echo. Yeah, that's. Uh, he ties up the set four to four as we move on to the last of the highlight games. And it's gonna be on library, it's going full the distance as Echoidi is up six to five in the last um, game here. And Roxo spying for a win, playing as Red Dress, starting in three, two, one, playing it. Quite the different uh, based library is, you could say. Oh, if you notice that laser, could have maybe tried to go for a cheese swap, but uh, I don't think Roxo was paying attention. It's also a very risky play, considering you need to yeah, basically win this um, game, or at least a point here. Yeah, especially this early in the game when, you know, this the sniper is probably not tunneling or, like, too too focused on anyone other than the people who are just generally near mission sites. We do hit if uh, we do hit a floor for fifty. Uh, sorry, for thirty-one percent, and we kind of we quickly leave. Unfortunately, it's uh, five of eight. Anyway, we kind of have to uh, be walking a lot, and we do it. There is a pink invincible book here. We're gonna grab. We may be tempted to do an action priority as we have a lot of safety halves on the small man. The small man done something that he the sniper just does not like as. Me go away to the conversation on seduction target. Get another white floor this time, 65 percent. I think the thing you did was being small. I think most snipers hate that. I mean, that's, that's just prejudice against small people. That's true. This, this oh. could be a great opportunity to bug here. Maybe not currently. Maybe are we in the gold bug range? No, we, uh, I thought we were in the golden bug range, but doesn't seem like it. Yeah, a little too oh, close. Oh. comes up. Combastor comes us to us again. Are we gonna go for a bug here, though? Uh, we that are. might have been an action prior. Oh, I think we were trying to bug, and then we accidentally uh, BB, but we got it off anyway. We are go going to finish, hopefully finish Flirt here and transfer at the same time. This is the first test of the memorization for the Cyber, really. But we slammed the book quite quickly, and uh, I don't see any immediate response from Ekoviri, and I think we gotta wait that clean. It's contact with one print with two minutes left. Seems like a solid finish shot avenue for Roxa here. Yeah, I mean, two hard tells. Pretty much clean, as, as far as we can tell. Um, this 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 is looking like a win in the bag right now for Roxo. Maybe he's looking at small men. I think he doesn't want to let off. Uh, maybe he uh, maybe Roxo knows that uh, small men has some heat and he wants to preserve uh, him as a possible suspect. Fortunately, we can't really. Okay, we are going for banana bread. This is a wide banana contact. Bread. I get conversations look really good. 
there's I think two or three more low lights, but we've only one print to find. I don't think it's gonna be that much of a deal, especially we're not a highlight. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a print right now that we can go to, or if we're just gonna wait for the ambassador to you know get the briefcase back. But there is plenty of time here. I think there's a print on the statue. Maybe we're just gonna go grab this briefcase before Teal can manage it. And it seems so. Yeah, it's gonna be mission encounter with this briefcase, and I, I don't see a Kobidi shooting for that. And Rock, so looks like he is gonna tie up the set and come away with one point of the impressive spy win on library. Yeah. Uh, you know, five missions venues, it can be hard to can hard be hard to do, you know, multiple hard tells without, you know, catching catching the sniper's attention, but Roxo did exactly that this set. Um, we had some good luck from the ambassador coming to us a couple times to give us some opportunities, but uh, you know, the transfer was clean and everything else was you know, we didn't we didn't give ourselves away. We didn't throw away the game. Nice job from Roxo that and secures the point from uh, for them. I'm wondering what's that's gonna put at the how the standings gonna look for him at the end of the last game here as we are moving on to Calame versus Lavinuk. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna uh, so Roxo is ahead of Catnip, yeah. So Roxo and Catnip are. I w wait, I wonder how is the tie break between Roxo, Catnip, and Yash are gonna go. Uh, this is correct. This is basically oh. because the tiebreaker rule says that in a tie with more than two players, if none beat or lost to all the other players, the tie is broken by the order at season start. So basically, no one beats the other two players, like both of them. So it's gonna be the order of the start of the season, basically. Oh, so. So yeah, oh yeah, she's indeed in the fifth place, kind of more frogs and thunder. Okay, thank you for cleaning up Nebula. Anyways, we're gonna have the last match then between Calame versus Labanook. Uh, so Calame, I think, only needs one point to secure a, the a secure a first place in the division. Which <clears throat> this is the wrong draft, I think. Is it not? Oh no, no, it's no, no, not no, it's no, it's the, yeah, yeah. Declined band on restrikes apart from Lavinuk decided it doesn't want courtyard. Well, we have double terrace again with a modern aquarium, double modern aquarium from Calame. That looks like Martini draft. I ever saw one, and we're gonna help finish up the single balcony. Yeah, I think declining ban, declining restrict, and double modern single aquarium is like exactly the draft I did in multiple matches. So, you know, Calame uh, and I clearly on the same wavelength here. And, you know, Lavinuk's draft kind of looking like Yash with the terrace and balcony. So this di very different styles of maps so, or venues. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Anyways, indeed, we're going to start off then on uh, Modern. Uh, yeah, but we're going to start off on Modern, and Calame is up 2-0, while Lavinuk is going to be sniping at, spying grabber as Blink Twin, starting in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Well, Calame and you share a similarity in the uh, venue picks. I don't imagine it's for the same reason, since... Both of them, if I if I know my things, it's both or both could be noted as pathing venues, and I don't think that Calame is really much of a pathing sniper. No, I think they do pathing. I think they, you know, they they do a lot of behavioral and pathing stuff. So I think the the reasons are actually more similar than you might think. Man, I may be incorrect. I may be incorrect. I'm willing to give myself that. As anyways, we are going. Immediate for our first part, we really want to chase the seduction target as we're gonna go back to the same statue said to just get this first flirt off. It is gonna be a green test, so well worth chasing at least. And we immediately put that back. Yeah, same statue, so we're not completing no, uh, no extra suspicion for that. Just, like, just, maybe it just like it looks weird from the side perspective. We're kind of bouncing out chasing Kane, but uh, considering how many highlights we have, and we have highlights for both Bar and 
statues, which I, I see some snipers do, and personally, I'm not a big fan of, since you can get mixed up on them quite easily, especially if there's a lot of bar goers and statue visitors at the same time. Yeah, I'm not sure if Calme does it, but, um, you know, some people just highlight for sus, so they might not hi highlight every statue visitor, but just keep track of people doing missions. Yeah, so we have inspects, we have uh, half of inspect and half of seduce, rather. Conversations are semi-filled, but unfortunately it wouldn't be a great time to contact, since both the uh, Yabber SDAs are out. Not that we know that. Yeah. Um, Amber leaving a print on the far left could be a, you know, a soft tail finish opportunity there. And in the red. We do go for a contact, and I think we're the only conversation that has real, so only us, the boots and us could have real contact. Yeah, we got out of there quickly, you know, maybe to try to fish for a low light, but Cal may not falling for it. We still remain high lit as we step into the bar and pick up a drink. I, uh, maybe we're going to try to do a, if we hit, hit this green floor, we're going to maybe send our seduction target and then uh, finish up inspects at the same time. So that could be a, and, but I think we have to send now the part is getting filled quite quickly and we send quite la later on. I don't, oh, never mind. We don't send. We're going to send to boots. She has a book, so that's probably not a great idea. Every single person, I thought Duke is going to jump. Both <laughs> possible senders have books on us. So, yeah, and Alice as well. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be too late now. I don't think it's going to come off. Yeah, Lavanook doesn't want to be the guy who's drinking at the book club meeting, so he goes back to finish. Or we already finished Flirt. I don't know what we're doing here, actually. I mean, we are delegating to um, Red Dress here. Indeed, whiskey and literature don't go together. Maybe unless you're Hemingway. And we are going to finish in space here. Is I don't think this uh, Perlon is going to come off. No, it it already expired. Oh, yeah, it did expire. So what's the finish here then? Bug? Gr great question. Crash bug, uh, time ad, swap. Maybe we're lining up for the bug here as the ambassador leaves. The bee? No, we do a crash bug instead. And no, we are There's... looking for it, but we are not shooting. And Lamanu gets away with the crash bug at the end there. Yeah, I think we were just zooming in to see if uh, we were going to purloin there. And the timing was good. We waited, you know, until 13 seconds or so, so no overtime. Just daring the sniper um, to catch that. And from the sniper's perspective, it actually looks pretty good. Like, other than the behavioral action of, you know, snuggling up to the ambassador at the bar, uh, you know, sorry, with, sorry in general both providing some cover for us. I think Almy was thinking that, oh my god, was that a bug? Was that a bug, maybe? But uh, thinking, oh, uh, I think this is going to be a pearl line, and then the pearl line doesn't come off, thinking, okay, I don't have to shoot. But unfortunately for Calame, Lavanuk was indeed finishing, and thus pulls one game back. And there's only down one, as we're going to move on to the next highlight game. It isn't the next game after, so Calame is up 2-1 to one still, playing as Steel on the last game of Modern, starring in 3-2-1, playing at Going well, back in the kitchen, but uh, we decide not to do any book cheese. Not, re not really in the kitchen, but in the bar. But I guess you could call it kitchen. So yeah, I mean, there's like a... In the meantime, we could get a bug and we get a fingerprint off the briefcase. Oh, wow. That was... Yeah. We, we I wasn't even it. looking. <laughs> I did not expect my myself. We did... I don't think that was intentional. By any chance, because the bastard left the <laughs> briefcase there, but I don't think that Lavenue caught that. That's just some. <laughs> that is, I think, quite some good accidental cheese done by Calame. And... Yeah, I mean, it must have been action priorities because I get, you know, briefcase is higher than statue, probably. But 
Yeah, we got away with it. So now, now we've got a huge lead in this game. And if we go to this finger available statue that Ambassador just left, that's gonna be two missions and fingerprints and uh, maybe contact into fingerprints. Maybe we want to do a contact and then we're gonna have like two minutes to finish up flirt or maybe just go to statues. Yeah, our options are certainly open with that kind of start. Not sure if we even need Seduce, but Kane fortunately vo uh, joins us, so we will get progress on that. In the end of red. Go for a fake contact this time around. He's gonna let off with one, two, three low lights currently thus far. Pretty good contact then. Oh, this ambassador just snuggles in again, but this one just passes by. Again, we seem to be content on idling for a little bit. I think we're just waiting for this print to cook, possibly. And then we're going to uh, go. I would like to go for do this print right now. You cooked it long enough. Yeah, I mean, I think we can just get it whenever because we can't possibly be credited with the first print. <laughs> it's like, who cares if he knows we have one print? We're never going to do a second one because we already did it. We are only we are only doing one inspect here. Oh, that's a bit of an awkward bad entry, but no harm, no foul. And uh, contact, yeah, it is gonna come off. It is a green test. That's gonna let off, I think. A couple more people, but no highlights or lowlights coming off just yet. And I think either inspect or one potentially one flirt is all gonna take uh, for Calumet to finish. I think, Flirtus... hmm. I think Flirtus. I think is a safer choice here, but uh, I would like to, you know, get moving just in case Kane does some weird stuff. We we might need two flirts if we don't hit the green here. I think even if we don't hit the flirt here, you might. I think you might abandon and just go statues then. Finish up yeah. that. But we are content on waiting this flirt out a little bit. Well, I think we're banking on this green quite heavily. Would be pretty disastrous if we don't hit it. Still waiting. Respecting the sniper but potential flirt pairing. Yeah, I think Here it is. It is green. No shot coming off, it seems. And Calame <laughs> gets away. But. And the nice spy win. Yeah, we did not. Ex I I'm casting this, and I did not see that bug into print combination coming off. And uh, it seems that Lavinuk didn't do either. No, I mean I was like looking at the kitchen, like seeing what was in there, and then Calme just does like two missions while I'm not looking. Is it, wait, is he even on the? Uh, is Calme even on this pad? I'm not sure they are. Maybe it's a replay bug, but. Yeah, just walks up to the ambassador, uh, plants a bug, takes the briefcase. He is none the wiser. And yeah, I mean, kind of crazy, but if you get away with it, then good for him. Indeed, it's uh, good for Calame. And we're going to move on to the last uh, highlight game from this set. But unfortunately for Calame, they're 6 5 down on the last game of. Ball balcony again. No, not the greatest. And as, uh, but Calame needs this. Um, Calame needs this win for them to secure first place in the division. Going to play playing as queen, strong in three, two, one, playing it. Interesting. I'm wondering. Uh, Okay, we're not good at rushing this first flirt. We're fortunately six takes our spot, so we can't really even potentially do a two flirt. Yeah, we're just going window to window, waiting for a better spot to open up. There is one right next. Are we gonna go for a bug? We are. And we do get a highlight for it, but I don't think it's really seen though. But we only need to do a contact. 
I would like to wait a little bit for this contact, since if you do it right away, the sniper might be panicking. Oh, that's most, was most likely a bug. But if you let that stew and some other talkers potentially do mention it, uh, do flirt, for example, the sniper might not uh, think that it was a bug this early on. Yeah, I think fast contact after accredited bug is not good for us. I would have liked to see us at least start the flirt. Um, but just as a backup out, plan. Yeah, mission win countdown is up, and yeah, just uh, but only a credit bug, and uh, Lavnik doesn't want to shoot for that, and uh, Calame just gets away with the win, and thus secures it at one point, and with that point from the set, the tight set, secures himself first place in the division against the uh, Hornet. And we well, saw their first match against uh, Calame versus Hornet. I have think, uh, wait, did we see some? Oh, no, but I'm pretty sure that Calame did beat Hornet 7 to 4. So Calame may be looking quite of the favorite in that match. Yeah, it should be, it should be a good one. I mean, it's not that the... I don't think many people would have put, put Calame at the top of the division before the season. I've, I've seen most of the um, players putting him at the bottom, but Calame proving the people wrong and showing that, um, that they, they could still play in this division and be on top of that. Yeah, I think Cal Calame has had some inconsistent results, but um, the good ones, you know... Their highs have been quite high, um, putting up some good results against pretty strong players. So maybe showing some more consistency in this league. Um, it's, it's good to see them doing well. Indeed. So that's Sapphire done. Yeah, that's uh, all of the matches in Sapphire. So unfortunately for Labanuki, Kuvidi, and Yash, they're in the bottom three. So they're bottom three, which are going to be relegated. And uh, but we're gonna have an uh, a match between Calame and Lamnuk sometime next week. Um, I'm hoping for that. 